Navarre Beach may just be Florida's best kept secret. We took a quick weekend trip to the beautiful Oceanside town. Now normally this is a review vlog but I thought it'd be fun for a change to show off just how amazing this place is and why you should consider visiting for your next vacation. So yes, most of you tune into this channel for reviews and recaps, but when I get offered a free trip to the beach, I am not one to turn it down. My family is planning our very first beach vacation since I was a little kid, and we've been trying to find the perfect place. We're going back in May, and there will be 14 of us, so it's going to be a big trip, but we wanted to go down and check it out and see what we were getting ourselves into before we booked the place. So we drove 10 hours down there and 10 hours back, but it was worth every second. Navarre Beach is located on the Gulf and it's about 20 miles on the other side of Destin. It's every bit as beautiful as Destin is, but as an added bonus, it's quiet and not crowded and you can just sit back and enjoy the beach. We did drive into Destin on the second day there just to see what all there was to do. And it's nice and there's a ton of things to do, but it's just so crowded and I can only imagine how busy it is going to be back in peak season when we return in May. I know a lot of people really enjoy this place, but for me, Navarre was the better deal. Now it was October and it had just stormed pretty bad so we couldn't get in the water but I was fine with that. It was just so relaxing to just sit beside the ocean and watch the sunset on the first day. We walked out on the pier which is the longest pier on the gulf according to what I've read. Now keep in mind though you actually have to pay a dollar to walk the pier but it's worth it. I got up in time to catch the sunrise the second day and it was probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I can't even begin to describe the colors and the video just does it no justice. There really isn't a lot of things to do in Navarre. There's a few restaurants, but if you're wanting to do fun things with the kids, you may just want to drive into Destin. But really, all I wanted to do was relax and listen to the ocean, and for me, it was perfect. The main strip of the beach is filled with colorful houses, and it's just a really nice, safe community. I cannot wait to go back in May, and we've already booked our place. We actually had already picked it out online through Airbnb, but we actually spoke with the rental property in Navarre, and it was cheaper to book with them. It was a huge savings. I highly recommend going through a local renter instead of using a second party site online. Thanks Navarre Properties. So anyways, I just wanted to make a little travel vlog because I find them very helpful before we went and next time I'd like to do some more vlogging with a better camera. Who knows, maybe this channel will become a travel one. Probably not, but everyone has to start somewhere, right? Thanks for watching everyone.